Hi guys, this is Katie, and I'm here with a video response for um, 2002 Mom SC. Her name is Dee, and she's doing a challenge giveaway for 200 subscribers, and it's called Show Me Your Dirty Secret. Um, basically you have to make something out of your dirty little secret, and your dirty little secret is like your hoard stash, things that you don't use, um, and you have to make a video response, and that'll get you two entries, and if you mail it to her, you get five entries, and the challenge was, or is, from um, April 22nd to May 17th, and um, let me tell you, Dee, I almost wanted to cry using my stuff, <laughs> but I did it for you. So, um, I made a card because, you know, I'm on my Copic coloring kick. You see all my Copic markers and... Um, up on the very top now I've got the Copic glitter markers so and I got a whole bunch of new images for um, from the not too shabby shop and from seven kids college fund so um, my dirty little secret is this little butterfly down here and these flower centers and I will show you my dirty little secret let me move you this way it is all my charms and embellishments and I have a really really hard time using any of this let me stand up here <clears throat> okay I know these aren't charms but they are embellishments and they're little mushrooms and they're so whimsical that they're up there with my stash, but I did use one of those inside my card. Let me get my card and bring it over here so I don't have to move you again. Um, this is the inside of my card, and I used my Copic markers and colored up that little mushroom and glued it on there. Be you know, since there's mushrooms on the front of the card. Anyway, um... So, I use my little mushrooms, and then these are just bags of charms, you know, high heels and stuff. I don't know if you can actually see them. These are all the earrings that I get from Body Central. Remember I told you they're really cheap there, $3.90, and I just cut off the backs, and they're embellishments. And then I have, these are some of my favorite charms here that I probably won't use. There's a little birdie in the birdcage, and my sister gave me the unicorn. And then these two were gifted to me from um, Kim Scrapper. So thank you, Kim. And I'm hoarding them like I said I would. And then I bought this mirror from um, Saw Crafters Shop. And you get two when you order. So I gave my sister one and I kept one. Anyway, in the first drawer, try to do this so it doesn't fall out. <clears throat> in the back is all of the industrial chic charms. And I've got a whole bunch of them. Just to show you a few. And in the front is more of my cheapy jewelry. And see it, you know, it's like the resin flowers. And you just cut the backs off. So on that card that I made, I actually took it off of here. If it'll focus. Um, and cut the backs off. And those were my flower centers, but I've got a whole bunch of different um, kinds in here, all the way down to 
you know, those are my um, shabby chic looking ones. My daughter stole some out of the ones <clears throat> up here, so I had to go and get some more, and I hid them in the bottom of my pile. But she stole the, what ones would those be? Those would be the yellow ones that she stole out of the pack up there. So that's the first drawer. And then my second drawer, I have got, let me sit down. Um, this side is all the fairy tale charms, I think, are just adorable. Love them. And if I don't buy two of them, then I hoard, and it's horrible. And then these are the Charmies. And this one here, if it'll focus. That one there I got from Crafty Cake 7, who is Gloria Glow. So thank you. I'm hoarding it. See, I'm not using it. And I still have, she sent me a fairy tale one that says, I believe in fairies that I have in here. There it is. That will be hoarded. <laughs> um, and then this side is all my arty cakes. And if I have doubles of them, I put them in my, I have a little box over there of giveaway. And it's a giveaway share box. Um, so for my giveaways or just to send to somebody just because um, I'll buy two of them, but I always keep one. Well, if I don't have, you know, one to hoard, then nobody gets, nobody gets one. So, anyway, um, my, these are my newest ones. I thought they were really cute. So, and then up here is um, from Wild Orchid Craft Flowers. These are the corner pieces and I've got those they just looked really like Celtic to me and then same with these kind of looked Celtic but these are just squares like the circle ones so this is my dirty little secret I keep it put away I don't ever bust into it unless it's to put more charms in, charms and embellishments. But um, I wanted to participate, and you know what? Actually, um, I have been using, if you can tell, like there's two missing here. My daughter did not take those. I did use those on a card. And same with, now they're going to get stuck together. Same with this one. The bottom row's missing. Um, I did use those, oh, here we go, that one, I did use those on a card. Those don't kill me as much as the actual charms um, kill me to use, but I wanted to participate in her challenge, so let me pan back over here, sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyway, um, and the butterfly down here, let me move my chair up, maybe, sorry guys, um, the butterfly charm here was very gold and very brand new looking, so I took a file to it and tried to rough it up some, so now there's like some green patina type stuff, you know, showing through, which I like it better, but anyway, and then I just put some trim and some lace. This paper here is from, I'm going to stand back up and look. It's from the Dixie Diva, which is a recollection stack. And the flowers that are on there are just Prima flowers. And the matting that I used in the back just regular cardstock matting, and then I distressed it with my vintage photo. And then I colored the image with my Copics and my glitter Copics. And that's the first time I actually did the blue gray background. Usually I fussy cut the whole image out, and this time I did not do that. So, um, 
that's what it is. And then, like I said, on the inside, excuse me, I used one of my mushrooms and colored it up with the same Copics. I just used the chisel end since I don't use it when I'm coloring. So if it gets messed up, it won't, you know, make me cry. But um, I colored it up with the same Copics that I used to color the front ones up. Same colors. And then on the back, I just put my stamp with some of the paper behind it so that's my dirty little secret d and i will be mailing this off to you you won my giveaway uh thursday and i'm going to be mailing your package off to you tomorrow so i'm just going to stick that this card in the package um that's going to you i hope that's okay and as soon as this, I'm going to go to sleep tonight, but when I wake up in the morning, I will go ahead and link this video to your original video. And if you guys haven't already subscribed or checked her out, you need to go over there and do that. She's a very funny and sweet lady. Um, I really like her and um, very talented too. So I will leave a link in the description box to her channel. Go over there and check her out and try to participate. She, this is a fun little challenge, you know. So, um, I got to come back with one more project share and one more happy mail, and then I'm going to bed because it is one o'clock in the morning here. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Thanks for watching.